So typically in the month of January, our topic would be new bank Was account, new you, or yeah, yeah new yeah, savings goals. accounts, get fresh start. Yeah. What we're going to talk about is common questions that people have about their account, their relationship with the credit union, misconceptions. Just, yeah. We yeah. see this a lot. So one of the first things that someone would need to know is, um, and someone has asked before, clearly, what documents do I need to open an account? So we need to know your social security number. We need a picture ID and it has to be uh, not expired. We need that current picture ID. So a Missouri state ID or a driver's license will work. Mm -hmm. So how much do we need to open an account? Yeah, that's something I hear all the time. What do you need to be a member of First Financial? One dollar. Uno. Yep. That one I know. A lot of financial institutions are going to ask you for a minimum deposit Ooh. of like 250 bucks or $500. Yeah. yeah. Or there's a minimum amount to not be feed for an account. Yes. That's not how it works here. There are accounts that we have where you need a minimum balance in order to earn a higher interest or some sort of reward. But all of our um, uh, tailor-made checking, our high-yield online savings, our roll-up savings, those are all free accounts. Our basic savings account right. to be a member, those are free and all you need is a dollar in your savings account in order to get those accounts. That's right. So another one that I hear all the time is, and that we see on our reviews and, and surveys all the time, is do we run credit checks when we open a new account? So this one's kind of tricky. Yeah, it is. Follow me. So if I'm just opening a checking account or a new membership, I am going to look at your credit score, but it's called a soft hit, not a hard hit. So right. a hard hit is going to reduce your credit score very slightly because yeah. you're basically telling the credit bureaus that you're shopping around for credit. But when they run a soft mm -hmm. hit, it's basically going, just tell me what the score is. Um, and then we can base your membership or whatever account you want, or if we need your credit score for one reason yep. or another, we can base it off of that. And what that really does is it verifies who you are, who you say you are. That's right. Um, and it allows us to kind of uh, get a picture of your financial health and where you're at. Um, but we do have an account for and a membership for every single credit score. So that's right. Um, it doesn't matter what your credit score is. It just we have to see it. We have to see your credit report. So the soft hit. Right. Pow. Not a hard hit. Soft. Wow. So here's one that I hear all the time. We get a lot of complaints about because it's really misunderstood. So I'm going to break it down just a little bit. Break it down. Okay. Can I make an auto loan payment mm. online or over the phone? The answer is yes. Yes. The best way you can make an auto payment at First Financial is to set up auto payments so that you don't have to touch it at all. I think it's the best way because you also get a payment reduction. You get a percentage off of your um, your loan rate. So it's good for you, it's good for the credit union, it's the best way to do it. And it helps your credit because you're making on-time payments every single month. The second um, thing is, if you can't do auto payments, you can use online banking. So get an online banking account through First Financial. It's really simple. You can do it from your mobile phone through the app, yep. or you can go online through the desktop do it and do it really easily. You can call us. There's a, there's a phone number on our website, and you can make a payment over the phone. However, yeah. so there is a small fee in order to pay your loan via phone. I hear this all the time because our members get confused and think that that's the only way they can make a loan no. payment and that we're charging them for it. It is absolutely not true. So we want you to explore all of your free options that allow you to make on-time loan payments, keep your credit healthy, and don't get feed. Another perk about belonging to the credit union, shared branching. Shared branch. Shared branching. That is cooperative. And it's one thing that I hear about often from members is like they want to talk about how we only have four branches and it's nope. not convenient. That's not true. That's true. That ain't true. So we're actually part of a nationwide cooperative. Yeah. We have like 30,000 ATMs, ATMs and like over 5,000 branches. So yeah. you can go to any of those uh, participating credit union branches and do your first financial business. We are very convenient yeah. because we choose to work together because yeah. we've built this cooperative and it's really meaningful for the people who bank here. All right. So we cleared up some misconceptions. We told some truths. Yeah, we did. Hopefully you're um, more informed about what yeah. we're doing over here and how you can be part of it. And tell your friends. Yeah, if you're a good friend, you would tell them about your credit union. I mean, why keep it a secret? 
I don't know. I like secrets. Tell me when. I don't have any good ones.